Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Shaco Jungle with full on hit absolute shred mode. We're gonna be rushing down our Kraken Slayer. And then after our Kraken Slayer, we're gonna get Bork for some more on hit. And then after that, we could probably just go for crit. We'll see. We could go for more on hit or we could go for crit. They're looking to do a cheeky invade. They popped my box. I'm gonna hide off to the side. I told my team to keep watch. I don't need leash. They're not really doing that. At least Renekton isn't. So I'm hoping Bex doesn't come and cheese me further. We accidentally didn't start with a refill. That was a complete accident. <laughs> it shouldn't matter too much because I guess we could just rush Bork then. Kraken and we won't even need a refill whatsoever. It's our third box where we want to get it on our red buff. But not to where it's actually going to be activated. And now we want to backstab the big raptor. Just like so. And let our box tank if possible. Beautiful. Now what we gotta do is launch the red buff into the box. And it should work here. It'll get double feared. Beautiful. And it's gonna tank the box in front, hopefully. Not quite. We don't want to use our abilities to finish this off. We kind of need to save them for the Krugs. I think our comp outscales there. Their comp, the main thing is just positioning against Master Yi is going to be really important not to give him free resets. If he can find that, it'll make the game obviously very difficult. We'll get these down to half health, drop box, and then we can leave. You realistically want to get them a little under half health, and then it can seal the deal. We don't seemingly have anything to gank here. So I guess we'll just go mid, grab a drink of water. Mastery is most likely doing a full clear from his blue buff side. We'll Q out, drop the box. I'll do an early ignite. She's not gonna get away. That was a very foolish flash in my opinion. I actually had a misstep right as I say that. Down she goes. I accidentally clicked on the mini map, so I ended up going backwards. Now we're gonna be fighting for topside scuttle. Uh, may just go for the Irelia skip topside scuttle. If Mastery does a full clear, he'll finish around 325, so he shouldn't be there on time. He's not that type of champion. I'm feeling the Irelia. This feels right. We'll skip the scuttle. Mastery should be finishing Krugs right about now. Q out, get box behind her. Hella Blades comes in very nifty here. Nectin wasn't really able to find any value on the follow-up. And now we're going to have to deal with a Master Yi here in a moment. I don't know where he's at. He should have been here. Something might have happened to his clear where he ended up moving when he shouldn't have to try to help a teammate. She's getting really low. We could double auto into E. Yep, down she goes. That's why Hellblades is so good on uh, Shaco. We have a defensive box and we'll have our Q. We're helping Orianna shove so she can go back and spend her gold and get her mana back. It's good to do that when you've noticed your teammates, they're sitting on gold because they're looking at their items and you can see their HP or mana and see they need that help. It also stops you from falling too far behind. We are going to rush down that early Bork since we didn't get a refill. We'll grab boots, this and that. If you're wondering what this weird, if you see any weird animations or weird sizes, it's because yesterday was April Fools and they still haven't gotten rid of the, uh, the animations and textures from that yet. I really is super, super low. That's very tempting to act on. You might look for an invade, especially if you already know that my camps are down. Nope, he doesn't. I don't think he saw us. Oh, she's so dead. I have boots advantage too. She greeted for the wave. That's really tragic for her. Auto attack into the E. Your auto attacks and your E do more damage if you hit them from behind. And your E does way more damage if they're 30% health or less. So if they're low on health, you're easy to get execute. You don't want to use your E on champions until you can no longer reach them with your auto attacks. Because your auto attack's slow, 
until your ease on cooldown. Once your ease on cooldown, your attack's no longer slow on Shaco, which is big deal. We're very healthy now with our farming. We don't even need uh We don't even need refill, honestly. V3 can't clear into gank on Shaco, which is his most efficient. If you look for a full clear on Shaco, it's very slow. Shaco's basically a meta Twitch jungle, but he's melee. Twitch jungles clears aren't nearly as healthy or nearly as fast. Plus, Twitch doesn't have any true hard CC pre-6 like Shaco does with his box. Plus, the Shaco with his constant E slows is kind of nuts. A lot of people don't realize that about Shaco. That his auto attacks literally slow you for a crap load for two to three seconds. It gets higher. It gets all the way up to three seconds, like 30% um, slow. This is a weird spot to be in. I don't know where Yi is. I'll go, I'll go ahead and start this. I have Smite, I have my Q for an escape. I'll use my E early, because I'll... Oh, that's really bad timing. That was... That was really, really bad timing for me. Got it. Poor Master Yi, dude. Doesn't get blue buff, and I'm about to hit level 6. <laughs> I'm tiny now. <laughs> Nick him with a bit of damage. We'll grab red buff and kill him on his red buff. Yeah, he's just wandering off. Shaco has decent smites if you e-smite at the same time and it's below 30% health. I really do do like the Bork Rush. I was going to go Kraken first, but realistically, you can get Bork faster because it's 400 gold cheaper. And um, so you get it quicker. Plus, you can avoid having to get the refill with the Bork, which lets you get it 150 gold quicker on top of that. So it's basically 550 gold cheaper if you think about it. It's basically free, dude. Triple auto, I'm not going to R for this. Oriana R very, very late. At least we got Vex Flash. I have my R for the Shaco. I mean for the Master Yi. Oh, he's coming. He, he's level 6 too. Oh wait, I think he's on... Uh, he's doing Raptors like an absolute goofball. Yeah, he's a goner. We have our boxes to help us. I don't know where Irelia went. I don't know if she's dead or, or what. We'll hit her with a little E. <laughs> Oriana doesn't have that much damage though. I would have been uh, happy to take this guy's red buff if I knew where the Irelia was. It's not worth dying is the thing. Dying when your head is so bad. Bleeding away that much gold. We'll reset when we can afford our full Bork. Where is it at? There it is. We're getting close to it. I'm just going to ping out where Master you most likely is. She's pathing away from that. That's good. That means she doesn't have me muted. Morgana's only level 5. Sheesh. Come on, I don't think... Maybe it was gonna die, it was gonna be close. This may or may not go well. The box blocks the snare, just like I intended. There's a bunch of random crap in the way here. I don't know why Rel looks like that. This, this whole April Fool special is really annoying. That was so random. Nearly got the morgue or box placement that crippled her. Is Vayne being greedy here? I think Vayne's being a little bit greedy, dude. We don't quite get the fear, but we nick her with the E. 
She got really, really greedy. I'm surprised that box didn't get her, too. She was right on the edge of it, playing with fire. And now we have full Bork, bruh. When you land your three auto attacks, it takes away 25% of their move speed and it gives it to you. It does a whole bunch of extra damage. And every auto you do on them does 12% of their current HP. So the healthier they are, it, it chunks. Basically doing 36% of their max health with your first three autos. Yeah, Rel's permanently on Wolf. This is a weird bug. I wish they had an option for you to be able to opt out of these special events, whether it's the music or animations, because it really does distort the gameplay. I couldn't even tell who that was. Mastery's bot side. We could invade his topside jungle or look for a herald here. I really is not a full item, and I have R. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm gonna red smite her early. Drop the R. I don't want her to possibly get a kill. And plus, I can take my clone and grab Harold with him. It's always nice to have a little friend help you do Harold. I wish it would tank the swinging its back around in a weird way. They get drag and we get Herald. I'm a big fan of Herald. I like ending games pre 30 minutes. If you don't go for Herald, it's really hard to, oh my God. That's so stupid. <laughs> this, this April Fool's event is such a joke, man. Holy crap. <laughs> That's so dumb. Does it, I don't think it normally has 3000 HP either. This seems weird. This thing's like actually bigger than dragon. I don't even think it gave us extra gold or XP from that, did it? Oh, he mastered ye. I'm gonna knight him, red smite him. I eat really early and I'm gonna stand in my box, force him to come to me. I eat way too early, especially when he's on meditate. That was not good timing by me. Hey, Vex. She ran the right way. Good for her. And then she died. She really overestimated her damage output there. Probably didn't realize I'm a full item. Probably also saw Irelia coming. Uh, sorry, Jinx. I'm not gonna let you have red buff, dude. She's joking, right? She actually thinks she gets red buff? Like, there's no way. I'm more fed than she is, and I'm the jungler. I get more XP from it because I have jungle item. Maybe if she had hurricane, I would give. I also used my ultimate on accident there. She shouldn't be going bot lane either. I should have laid my herald mid before the plates fell off. That was my mistake. At least we'll get turret one way or another. Jinx got me distracted going for my red buff like that. She picks up the double. Got our red smite on her. Oh, can't keep up with her. Oriana's not keeping up either. I want their red buff is what I want. Master Yi is a full item. He's nowhere near his red buff though. My red smite's on cooldown. I may not be able to solo him. He has more items spent. He has tier two boots. He basically has like 800 more gold spent right now. Can't refill 950 more gold spent. I assume he's gonna come for his red buff or he's just on my grom. We can wait here for a second. If he walks into us, we should be fine. We can get double autos off before we realize what's happening. We'll wait. I mean, he might be waiting for us with the Irelia because they both kind of disappeared together. I guess I could go for Vex. He's just taking forever, dude. I think I just stepped on a ward. Yeah, I stepped on a ward. Wait, she, she got away?
I'm gonna use my R, dodge for crap. Good R by the Oriana. That was huge. That Oriana R was so good. Oh. <laughs> She's high. She actually looks like a wolf. Wow. That's nuts, dude. All right, let's get the Kraken for some stupid high damage. Our three auto attacks are gonna come out so fast from a hell of blades. We should be able to one shot Vayne. If they have zero HP items, zero armor items, they, they'll evaporate. Three autos and at most all E and they'll they'll die. I won't have to do anything else. Just Q, auto, auto, auto E. And we're very quick from Relentless Hunter to where we can kind of close that distance. A Morgana. She's gonna have R, I assume. Wow, she really exhausted me there. She's very bold. She she really believed in her damage output. Never seen someone believe that hard in their damage as a support player. <laughs> she was all in. She wanted that uh, that shutdown. Mastery's gonna push out for wolves or for dragon here. Get a box down. If I can get off another box, I'll just wreck him. I'll smite for the health. We need HP more than we need the damage reduction. He also has true damage, so. Looks like he was going for the mid wave instead. Don't know about that. Alright, we're chilling. <laughs> we didn't need the R, it's just uh we are being a rude dude. We'll send our R over there. And then we'll hop the wall. They they all think they're on the right Shaco, but they're not. And then I died anyways. We couldn't kill Vayne fast enough. We took too long on the morgue. Ah, that sucks. I guess maybe if Rel didn't kill my clone, I still could have won that. Little surprise I died there. I guess I didn't have full health because they only did about a thousand damage to me. We're also missing tier twos, which is making this harder than it needs to be. I think we will go for Berserkers. I don't normally go Berserkers on Shaco, but with this build, it kind of makes sense. We could go for more on hit or we could just go for damage like Collector. I say we go collector in the IE. So we have Giga on hit and we have Giga crits. Then we'll have basically the highest damage output build that Shaco you can build. I don't think there's another build where you can get more damage. I don't think Bork's the highest damage item you could go actually because it's low AD, it's only 40. The utility gives a super valuable though, like the life still and the slow. I can't chase her. That's exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to bait me. They're being trolls. I'm gonna go grab that bot wave. That is the equivalent of two or three monster camps of XP. Probably quite a bit more gold. Monster camps have been nerfed so heavily on the gold area. In absolute heaps. It's nearly 20 minute mark, so I don't even have to worry about Monster Hunter debuff. It's really useful to be able to send your clone off to the side, hop a wall, and he's far enough to where he teleports on you because it looks like it's you. Because all of a sudden it, they see a Shaco appear and they always assume it's the real one because why wouldn't they? That's not good. These guys are actually making a comeback, unironically. It's a little surprised they won that fight when my team's so fed. Goodbye, Vex. That was really greedy of her. I'm gonna go look for some more camps. Ooh, red buff is up. I'm gonna R then. I'll send my clone over. I 
Let's see what there's to see. There's nothing to see apparently. These guys aren't pushing out like at all. Oh, that bush was warded. What the heck, man? These guys are crazy. Is this bush warded as well? Ooh, that vein condemn actually low key saved me. Goodbye. I'm going vein hunting right now. She's tiny. This this <laughs> April Fool's thing is so janky. I can't even tell where her hitbox is. How long does it give her to jump to me? Like 10 years? We're actually losing. How does this make sense? <laughs> oh, this is brutal. No matter how many resources we soak, it's not enough. I think she just used her fear. If we can attack him from bush, that would be nice. She burned her ward for that. She probably thinks we're still there though, so. That's so annoying how these guys are stacking up. So rude. Oh, Irelia. My friend. <laughs> she just got double true damage from me and my clone. <laughs> Giga double on hit. I'll send him out that way. Oh, I wanted to bring him back. I kind of need to heal back to full health. Jinx probably shouldn't have been hitting those wolves. I have a defensive box there. These guys are kind of screwed. That defensive box, Jinx could just stand there all day long. Vex engages. She's going to get insta-feared when she pops to it. Now, what are you going to do, Vex? What are you going to do to me, boy? Oh, oh that was nothing. Oh my god, she didn't even get feared. Did you see that? Like, I get how I died, but still, where'd my box go? That is bizarre. We'll grab Collector in the IE. Absolutely shred. We need this dragon. Team's overstaying. Bane's on the split. Team's gonna overstay. No! Okay, that actually turned out all right. I had very low expectations for that fight. Jinx on the triple item power spike. Vayne's looking for reset. It's too late though. My team can end. I really is about to dominate. Red smite, double auto E. And she actually didn't die. That's absurd. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this hyper carry on hit Shaco jungle build. Let's take a look at the graphs. All right, looking at damage dealt enemy champions, <clears throat> we were the second highest in the game behind the Fed Jinx. At damage taken, we were pretty much tied with the top of the pack. And for runes, we got crazy value out of Hellblade, Sun Impact. And really all the runes we took, these are all really, really, really good ones for Shaco. The only other way to play Shaco right now is AP Shaco. It has a lot less uh generally all in potential and solo potential to where it's more of a support if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and leave a comment giving suggestions down below my name is king Stux, thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time